Let's get this just right here. Let's see. I want to get this. I, I'm going to do a slab on the air. This is me answering the phone. We made some people mad. <laughs> well, Trevor made some people mad. Hey. I'll, go, I'll go down with you. Hey. The National, what was it? What was National the National Foundation for Women's Rights. National Lives. Foundation for Women's Rights. Hmm. Well, Sounds like a fine organization. It's a good angle. It's a good angle. So anyway, uh, some people were mad at Trevor, and uh, we took a couple calls defending him. <laughs> Listen to this. Point three. What can we do for you? I don't know. I think I think uh, that lady had a little mental problem or something. You think she had a mental problem? Maybe it's PMS. I don't know. <laughs> oh wow. Well. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't I don't picture a lady just sitting there listening to the radio saying, "I'm going to call this you know this DJ and just you know bitch the hell out of him." Yeah, try to make our life hard, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys do Well, we just bring up topics that are real life. Yeah, I mean, it's it's true stuff that people should actually, you know, kind of know about somewhat. Yeah, we could, you know, we could just sit here and be uh, on a satellite from, like, Dallas, Texas or something and be some piece of crap radio station, but we try to do stuff that's real to people, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's rough sometimes. Oh. We appreciate you calling in, though. Yeah. Thanks for defending us, my man. Uh-huh. Take care. Take care. Bye. Okay. Well, by request, on the latter side of things, my heart can't tell you no. Rod Stewart on the hot one. Hot one of four point three. Matt Luking twelve twenty one twenty. The overnight uh, show. Well, huh, I come in and uh, you know, hey, lots of things uh, flying <laughs> off the wall. Lots of people wanting to offer their opinion, and that's you know really all we do. And uh, I guess uh, some people think we might have been mean to the gal, and uh, I don't know. I don't know that we were, but maybe we were. I don't know if we were or You not. just said, it, the whole thing started off, you just started out, you said some gals at work were talking about, uh, you know, certain time of the month. Yeah, and, and they put it in a certain terminology. And all you did was say, uh, for your Confession Wednesday, if it was your time. And then you offended some people, obviously. And some people stood by you. And, uh, well... We are not uh, trying to bash women at all. I love women. Uh, God, God uh, knows you know, the world my, would be uh, uh, a sad place without just, women. Let me tell you one thing, and this was something we, were, uh, my girlfriend and I were even discussing. And uh, she said, you know you're a raving feminist, don't you? I'd say yeah. And, and I said, I guess I am, because I've been raised with uh, uh, my mother, largely. Mm-hmm. My father was, uh, you know, uh, my mom and my father were... Uh, Divorced for a couple years, and then they remarried two years after that. Mm-hmm. So for four years, I was only raised by my mother and my three elder sisters. Mm-hmm. All teenagers by the time I was old enough to recollect anything. And, uh, you know, yeah, I guess I am. Uh, you know, also, too, though, I come from a household where basically people speak pretty plain. And uh, I'm working, obviously, in an area. If I'm working on an assembly line at a factory, uh, yeah, I think people probably put things in a certain kind of terminology that maybe is a little bit lower brow, perhaps. But that was the terminology, I guess. Yeah, you know, it may have bothered at least one lady, but she was at least nice enough to mm-hmm. talk very. You yeah, know, one very gal said she just it. didn't like the way you put it. But right, uh, yeah. and she put. But at least she talked to me calmly and, and coherently, sure. and she was nice about it. And she even pointed that out. But and yeah, one gal I, wanted to call the women's rights board. Right, and that's perfectly fine. Yeah. I don't mind. You know, that's the whole thing. But and like, then some guys were upset because you know they said, "Hey, it's just something that happens." It's something that happens, and that's what I was even trying to point out too. It's a natural, normal cycle. Yeah, it it happens. It's biological. Sure. And then one guy was mad that we talked too much. But you know, hey, so we'll just air a few of those calls for you. Uh, you know, we're not uh, here to, to state opinions for our whole life. For the most part, I do play mostly music, and uh, I take offense to again. It says that I sit and talk all the time because you need to listen to the show, buddy, all the time. But we'll play the calls for you. Here you go. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Kurt. How you doing, buddy? We're good. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, depend you guys on this. You're gonna deal with this? Well, what, what's your what's your two cents? Hell, I think if she wasn't going to do anything but bitch about it, or she shouldn't even mess with Colin. <laughs> just kept her opinions to herself. Yeah. Well, we it did, sounds like to me she must have been done it, or she wouldn't have been rapping about it getting so uptight. Yeah, that's possible. I don't know. I'd hate to speculate. But yeah, I, it is possible. I want to request a song for her. All right. What is it? Oh, my God. You got like a song for her. Yeah. Okay. What? Get over it by the Eagles. Get over it by the Eagles. Okay. We'll I want to aim that straight at her. 
That's straight to her. And all the rest of them who want to call in bitch about it. All right, we'll see if we can play that for you. Okay. Thanks. Uh-huh, bye. What's the man? I want a 4.3. What can we do for you? Yeah, I have a small complaint for you guys. Okay, go ahead. Uh, regarding that lady that called up earlier on the air, I really think you guys are treating her kind of unfair by really putting a lot of bias on her and teasing her about it. I mean, I understand she really probably didn't articulate, as you guys put it, very well, but I think this is a very enough articulation. And number two, if you guys wouldn't talk so much and just play music, it'd probably be a lot better. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. All right, well. We okay, let me ask you guys a question. Yeah. You guys on your... Yeah, well, that's uh, pretty much it. So, we air all the calls, and, uh, you know, hey, I just happened to walk in and say what I thought. <laughs> so... You just can be mad at me, but I'll tell you what, on this show, uh, we mostly play music, so we'll, we'll shut up. <laughs> play music. But I will be a real person and not fake. Thank you. Action 10's Rob Watson calling for partly cloudy skies and low of 51. For Thursday, partly sunny skies and a high of 73. For Friday, partly cloudy and a high of 75. It's, uh, I don't know, 50-something at the hot one. With the police. One of 4.3 requested music. Hey, we do do that here. We do play music. We do play requests. Playing with the Queen of Hearts, Juice Newton from 1981. Matt Luking, 1239. Uh, well, we've uh, hit a nerve. Hey, that's okay. We appreciate all your opinions. And, uh, yeah. I just <laughs> I just said off the air that uh, if you call up, uh, it'd be nice if you said your first name. You don't have to say your last name. It'd be nice if uh, you listen to both sides. Because we will listen to your opinion. And then just let us talk to you, too. Okay, I think that's fair. Your chance to win right now. Hot 104.3 Thursday if we haven't made y'all mad. You know, hey, we still love you and we love women and we love men. We love everybody. It's free love. Free love here at the station. Free love. I love you, man. I love everybody. Here we go. Okay, see, you know, it's just real stuff. What do these three things have in common? Hey, and this these all happen to be women. Tanya Roberts, Shelly Hack, and Cheryl Ladd for a trip to the Hot 104.3 Prize Vault. What do those three women have in common? Tanya Roberts, Shelly Hack, and Cheryl Ladd. 217-932-WCBH or Star 1043. Tanya Roberts, Shelly Hack, and Cheryl Ladd. What do those three women have in common for a trip to the Hot 104.3 Prize Vault? Well, Hot 104.3, that was uh, by request. Get over it. And it wasn't by request by me, but I do like the song. Uh, hmm. We haven't taken many women calls on this, but uh, don't think that you can't express your opinion and don't think that we will rip on you because I will not. I love women a whole lot. See, that bugs me because all the calls I had were all women except for one yeah. one guy yeah. who I even kind of denigrated on the air a little bit, but not, not in a real yeah, well, way. But I was kind of like, you player, you, the guy who... Oh, the guy that had two girlfriends. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's it's gone on for a long time. But, hey, you know, every angle's okay, and, and nobody's wrong, really. Uh, no. Well, I mean, you know, everybody's wrong according to somebody's opinion. But yeah. On this show, nobody's wrong. And uh, we will take your calls at 217-932-WCBH or Star1043. But right now, we got to find a winner. And we're going to do that. A winner. Baby. Hey, hot one of 4.3. Yeah, hey, have you got a uh, answer for your question yet? No, we don't. You don't hate us, do you? Pardon? You don't hate us, do you? Hey, man, I think you guys got all the balls in the world, myself, <laughs> for well, discussing that. You know what Tanya Roberts, Shelly Hack, and Cheryl Ladd have in common? Hey, they were all Charlie's Angels. Pretty easy, wasn't it? Did yeah. you like that show? Pardon? Did you like that show? Yeah. I don't remember Shelly Hack. I don't remember which one she was, but uh, they were all Charlie's Angels after the original. Yep, so. right. You got her. Where are you calling from tonight? Hey, Lawrenceville, Illinois. Lawrenceville, and who's this? Larry. Larry. All right, Larry, just tell me what station plays the best variety of music. Hey, Hot 104.3. Hot 104.3. What are you saying, Trev? I can't play either one of these songs because I... I <laughs> well, no, because I want to be fair. We're, we've been taking more calls and... Uh, so what is, you know, what what was your, what were you My saying? My theory was we could balance this all out. Okay. I don't know if I could do it tonight because, of course, with Hot 104.3, yeah, I, yeah, I are... tend to stay away from call But on Friday night, what about if we, uh, men who deserve to get kicked in the testicles and why? <laughs> okay. I think that's <laughs> and fair. Hard. And we might deserve a kick. Oh, I don't. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I don't want to think about that. I, it happened to me so many times I don't even care. Yeah. I've... <laughs> Yeah. Figuratively and, and My literally. girlfriend, as a matter of fact, when I go home, is probably going to kick me two oh, or three times. So, yeah. yeah. I didn't even mention, and I'm not going to say, but a certain DJ who has a very soft side uh -huh. on the weekends. Uh-huh. 
his girlfriend called in and 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 mentioned a couple of things about her. So, oh, about herself. I, I, oh, I thought you. you know, I thought she was going to kick him. Uh, no, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> she I didn't. I didn't talk about that. Nor did I air that call simply okay. because I didn't want to embarrass him. Yeah, sure. <laughs> But, you know, and also, too, I know that some people objected to the terminology that was used. And, and that's what and, we're hearing and, in here from... And, uh, and you know, and all of the only thing I want to say... That's, that is fair. The only thing I want to say is that was the term that actually the woman who talked to me on that factory line said. Yeah. I'm sitting there minding my own business, uh, drinking my Mountain Dew and eating my Frosted Bunny cookies. I swear I do. I eat Frosted Bunny cookies from Walmart. <laughs> they were on sale. Two for five dollars. <laughs> I've got the package to prove it. Okay. Anyway, you know, I'm sitting there doing that, and then that's then this girl just yells that particular term out, which may have been wrong. Which I don't. Well, I don't know. And if you're it's repeating wrong. it may have been wrong. Maybe repeating it was wrong for certain people. I will say that may have may have you know that may tick people off. And I may have been wrong for carrying this on. I don't know. <laughs> so, it's your show. You do what you want. So yeah. You know. We're sorry. Sort of. <laughs> But I, no, hey, I I like all, you know I'm one of those people that loves a debate. I love all sides. Me too. And whatever it is, and know, I don't. I hope I you're didn't. not wrong as far as I. If you call and and you got the guest to call up and you got the guest to express your opinion and say who you are, and say hey, you know this is what I think. I think that's great. I'm not going to hunt you down. Oh, I don't want you to hunt me way. down. Same you know, way. I, I, th- you know. I think it's great. Absolutely great. So we're going to play a few more calls on the topic here in a minute. But uh, right now, here's Sister Hazel. All for you on the hot one. WCBH KZ. No news is good news. That's what I say. Action Tim's Rob Boston calling for partly cloudy skies and a low down to 51. For Thursday, partly sunny skies and a high of 73. For Friday, uh, yeah, partly cloudy and a high of 75. It's 60 at the hot one. More calls. You can send all uh, letters and faxes, too. Hot 104.3. 8 West Main Street, KZ, Illinois, 62420 or 217-9. 324487. Uh, if you can't name. call, direct them to Trevor McCoy and uh, you can put my name on there as like the accomplice. That'll be fine. Hi, Hot 104.3. Hello. Are you taking a request? Yeah, we'll take requests. We're trying to lighten things up. What can we play for you? Uh, I'd like to hear some Hanson. I'll come to you. Oh, I don't think we ever played that one, my man. You don't? No, uh-uh. I don't think we ever played it, no. I say me and my old lady's getting in a fight over the whole rag deal. Uh-huh. We got into a big-ass fight over that. Yeah. I need to play something to kiss some ass. <laughs> we should all, like, we should all bend over and kiss the women's butt, shouldn't we? Because we've, we've, we've made a man. I'd say so. And, uh, I pissed her off. Yeah. Play a little something sweet for me, this Eli. Something sweet? Yeah. We all want to have sex in the 90s, so we'll make sure we play something, okay? Hell yeah. All right, my Thank man. Thank you. Uh, bye-bye. Where's the love? That's all we want. We'll play that one instead. It's Hanson, right? The hot one. I forgot what I was going to say. What can I do for you? We're having kind of a tough night. What, what, what can I do for you? I know. You know, that, that girl, she didn't articulate very well, but I think she kind of has a point. Cause, I do agree with that. I mean, because if, if you said something about, like, you know, men calling about, you know, who masturbated today or something, some guys <laughs> might be offended or something. Because that, that might be kind of sensitive. That may be true. That, that very, That's a very good angle. Yeah. And, uh, but I also have a question. Okay, Amber. I, I don't know what she said, like what words, obviously, because you bleeped them out, but, uh, um, why are people saying, like, the five-letter B word? Uh... I mean, isn't it just as bad as the rest of them? I don't think any of them should be aired. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's one of the, the, the bad words on the no, radio. No, you don't think that's a bad word? Yeah, there's... Well, uh, well, whether I think it's a bad word or not, I don't know. But uh, there's, like, seven words on the radio you can't say. I don't... Oh, you guys have, like, a list. Yeah, there's, like, the seven words of radio. Okay. Okay? All right, well, have a great night, Matt. Keep the good work up. Thank you. All right, bye. bye. And on the lighter side of things for our buddy the tall one, in honor of him, Sunday night candlelight at 8 to midnight. I just want us all to be friends, men and women. Yes. We'll all make it together on the hot one. Hot one of 4.3. The sounds of the overnight. Matt looking. I love y'all. Thanks for letting me have a job like this. Cause I have learned more about life here than I ever will. I love each and every one of you. All of you.
Women, men, I don't know. Transvestites, you too. Yeah. The best variety. Just after one. Hot 104. Hot 104.3 Thursday, your chance to win, and the devil is still inside on the hot one. Hot 104.3, Matt Luke 110, 210. The devil inside, 60 outside. Trevor McCoy did see Lilith Fair, the whole part of it. I just want to <laughs> say that about him. Uh, well, if you have any more opinions uh, on all this stuff, uh, the calls are pretty much over. We'll, we will take your request at 217-932-WCBH. If you'd like to email Trev, you can do that at tmccoy at itookmyprozac.com. tmccoy at itookmyprozac.com. Or you can fax us, 217-932-4487. Collective soul, the world I know at the hot one. Sure. I don't know who sings it, but it's uh, Sexy and Seventeen. Sexy and Seventeen. Who? Oh, might be the Stray Cats. Is I'm, that it? I'm thinking it's the Stray Cats, yeah. Are you a Stray Cats fan? No, I just have that song. It's in your head? Yeah. Where are you calling from this evening? Newton. This is Jamie. Oh, okay, Jamie. You don't hate us, do you? Why? Oh, I, I just I just got to bed. I haven't listened to you for very long, but I heard oh. you ha- are having a bad night. So. Yeah. Why well, should hate say, you? Just say you don't hate it. Okay, I don't hate you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Who said it? Oh, nobody. I'm just. Why oh, would anybody hate you guys? You guys are the best. Trevor uh, started a nice topic. I carried on. Why? What's the topic? Oh, he was just asking if any women wanted to confess that they were. Starting their period today. That's it. Was his confession Wednesday topic? Oh well, I'm not sorry. Okay, but you don't hate us for asking that. No. Okay. Oh heck, you guys ask stupid questions all the time. That's right. right. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. That's the job of a radio DJ. Yeah. You know <laughs> why stop now? You hit the nail on the head. Well, that's a good question, I guess. Yeah. Well, it was just you know just. Just a confession, just curious, because he had some people around him that were, and that were uh, boisterous about it, so. Uh, everybody knows when I am, because I'm like a royal bitch. Really? Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> anyway, okay, we'll play your song for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hey, man. I'd like to make a request, please. Oh, great, yes. That's the, that's the easiest call we've had tonight. <laughs> Can I hear Sarah McLaughlin's I Will Remember You? Uh, sure, that's a great song. As, uh, who's uh, this? This is Carol. Where are you calling from tonight, Carol? Altamont. Altamont. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, Just driving around. Just driving around. Okay, and, and you don't hate us? No, we don't. Okay. I don't. Thank you. Uh-huh. We'll play your song. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. Hot 104.3, Matt Luking, 142, 242. Glad to have you along for the Thursday edition of the Overnight Show. Well, not only is it controversial Thursday, it's a winning Thursday. Hot 104.3, Thursday. your chance to win is right now. If you know what these three things have in common, we're going to send you to the Hot 104.3 prize vault. We're going to take you back to uh, school. Probably high school. For a lot of you, that's your clue. I don't like to make this stuff hard on the open. I really don't because nobody's brain's functioning properly. Scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. Scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. What do those three things have in common? 217 932 WCBH or Star 1043. Scalene, isosceles, and equilateral for a trip to the Hot 104.3 prize vault. 217 932 WCBH or Star 1043. Request your dead eye dick. Did you take geometry? <laughs> yep. Did you do well? 
Well, I'll put it this way. I ended up putting uh, several years into college. Yeah? And to get more than one degree. Uh-huh. So, yeah. You, so you, you get you get all that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, geometry is probably my weak point. Well, it, it works very well for pool. It, it works very well what? For pool, billiards. Yeah, that would be. The angles on uh, different pool shots. Yeah. I would agree. <laughs> All right, my man, you're going to win. Just tell me what station plays the best variety of music. Uh, Hot 104.3. If you could only see the way. Hey, hello. Hot 104.3. Matt Luking, 10 minutes before 2, 10 before 3 on the Hot 104.3 Thursday. And uh, have you heard about this? We got your chance to go see Aerosmith. Sound all right to you. I'm dropping stuff. Damn it. I can't get things in order tonight. We've uh, taken a lot of calls. Thanks for listening. Everybody that listens, thanks for listening. And uh, thanks for appreciating that uh, we just try to be honest about things. And we're not always right. And God knows I don't think we're always right. I really don't. Uh, but, you know, thanks for listening. And uh, we may say things that offend you sometimes, and we don't mean to. We just we try to talk about it. Uh, Trevor McCoy and I are very honest people, and sometimes that might get us in trouble. But uh, Aerosmith tickets, we got your chance. The Hollywood Sports Pub, Thursday, April the 16th. I will be out there playing some tunes. We're going to give away Aerosmith tickets live on Trevor McCoy's show sometime between 8 and midnight. That's on a Thursday. you got to be present to win, so come on out and party with us. Have a few drinks. Uh, not too many. We don't want you to like, drive home drunk. But uh, have a few drinks and uh, party down. And uh, even if you don't, just come out, drink a Coke, hang out, listen to some music, dance with us. Should be a lot of fun. That's on Thursday, April the 16th. You'll have a chance to win Aerosmith tickets. More chances on the way. And speaking of Aerosmith, Steven Tyler is 50 today, so we're going to play an Aerosmith tune uh, that kind of uh, I guess sums up the night. More music on the way. Hang around. Hey, it's John Crum. On a recent morning show, we were asking guys from the... T- Casey. Tuesday weather. I swear we're going to get to the news one of these hours. Action 10's Rob Watson called for probably cloudy skies. A low of 51 for Hot 104.3 Thursday. Be outside. It is great outside right now. I wish I could like move the studio outside. A high of 73 for Friday. Even warmer. A high 75. It's 60 at the Hot One with Aerosmith on Stephen Tyler's 50th birthday and uh, kind of Trevor and Matt song for tonight. We're just having you know, fun. Living on the edge on the Hot One. Flock of Seagulls, I ran so far away. Matt looking just after 2 3 in Indiana. The overnight show. The best variety. I'm going to give you another track from the Journey Greatest Hits live CD that was out in stores Tuesday. We're supposed to play like a regular Journey cut, but uh, I think you need to hear this. This is Love and Touch and Squeezing on the hot one. Check it out live. Stay to hear it live every once in a while. Hot 104.3, Matt Luking, 215, 315, 60 outside. Great night, great day tomorrow. I may just sleep outside. That'd be pretty cool. I can enjoy the weather, get a little tan. It's Chicago, hard to say I'm sorry on the hot one from 1982. The Action 10 Storm Team calling for partly cloudy skies for the remainder of the overnight, a low of 51. For Hot 104 point Thursday, partly sunny skies and uh, shorts, beach shirts. That's all accepted, the high of 73. It's 59 at the hot one with Melon Camp. Hot 104.3, Matt Luking, 233, 333, 59 outside on Mr. Spock's birthday, Captain. Trevor McCoy would be proud, wouldn't he? What if God was one of us? We'll be able to, like, transport ourselves. Like Star Trek, that'd be like the coolest thing. That's what I've always wanted to do in my whole life. Joe Osborne on the hot one. I want a 4.3. Matt Luke, 237. Oh, I don't know, boy. We're just, uh, <laughs> lots of stuff going on in the studio. Now, you ever have one of those days it's just real hectic? And you wouldn't think, like, overnights could be hectic, but sometimes they can. Because I want a 4.3. Thursday, we're trying to give away free stuff. More chances to win on the way. More great songs. We're trying to get to all of them, believe me. Just hang around. Don Henley, The Heart of the Matter from 1990 on the Hot One. Hot 
104.3, the Human League and Human from the Human League's greatest hits. Matt Luking with you at 12 before 3 o'clock, the overnight experience, the Thursday edition, the winning edition. More chances for you to win on the way. Keep your radio tuned right here. We try to take care of you. I saw some good CDs in the prize belt. The Fleetwood Mac Rumors uh, tributes in there, some Janet Jackson stuff, uh, some stuff from the Bodines, the Verve. Yeah, there's some good there's some good darn stuff in there. So we'll have more chances for you to win soon. Just make sure you hang around. On this day, uh, I, I always like to look to see what happened in history since we play a lot of the older music, like what happened in the 70s and 80s. Let's just, just to take you back a few years, this is what happened uh, when a lot of the music that we play, uh, it's, it's what happened on this day. The Young and the Restless, that show which has been very popular on CBS for years, the soap opera debuts on this day in 1973. David Essex Rock On turns gold on this day in 1974. Rich Girl by Daryl Hall and John Oates is number one on this day in 1977. Pink Floyd's The Wall breaks the record for the longest charting pop album previously held by Carole King's Tapestry in 1980. Uh, this one uh, might uh, hit a few people's nerves. Do You Really Want to Hurt Me, which was featured in in the uh, Wedding Singer by Culture Club peaks at number two on this day in 1983. We may have to play that. Hungry Like a Wolf by Duran Duran peaks at number three on this day in 1983. Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Remember that one? Uh, number one on this day in 1988. And Michael Bolton sitting on the dock of the bay, number 11 in 1988. And in 1989, one of the greatest shows ever, and I wish, I, I wish it never would have stopped, kind of like MacGyver, Quantum Leap debuted on this day in 1989. So more music on the way, and uh, if you if you got to tune in last night, I hope you enjoyed Retro Rewind. We'll be doing it next Tuesday going into Wednesday. That's when you hear the uh, different stuff on the hot one. Uh, here's more information about it. The word on the street is KZ. Tuesday weather. One of these hours, we're going to get to the news. Action 10's Rob Watson calling for friendly cloudy skies for the remainder of the overnight. Hello, 51. We can almost like that off. Thursday, partly sunny skies, a high of 73. That would be today. And for Friday, partly cloudy and a high of 75. It's 59 at the Hot One. Hot 104.3 Hot 104.3 Hot 104.3 Hot 104.3. I felt like I deserved an Oreo cookie, so I ate one. I feel so much better. I feel like a kid again. Matt Lucas, just after 3 o'clock. The best variety. Michael McDonald. Hot 104.3 104.3, Chance Sweet Freedom, Michael McDonald, Matt Luking, 309, 409, 59 outside, and uh, watching the Oscars the other night, kind of a wrap-up on it. I thought the best part of the whole thing was Robin Williams' speech and how he thanked his dad for supporting him uh, throughout his life because his dad didn't get to follow his dream, and he helped Robin do that, and he said it was uh, pure redemption. His dad had passed away, and he thanked him up above. I thought that was the greatest thing. Now he doesn't know what to do with his Oscar. He says he's uh, thought of maybe putting it on his hood of his vehicle as a hood ornament, planting it in his front yard, or turning it into a really cool door knocker. All unique ways to display an Oscar, I guess. It's Jewel, you were meant for me. And Hot 104.3. Hot 104.3, Matt Luking with you on the Hot 104.3 Thursday. The week winding down for me. Crash Davis will be in tomorrow. Make sure you're nice to him. Because uh, I'm filling in for the Vin Man like on Friday. So it's all messed up. Maybe about June things will be normal here and maybe I'll, I'll work a full week. Who knows? Uh, I meant to address this earlier in my show, but with the Trevor McCoy debate that lingered on, for those of you that have been up all night, uh, late into last night, early this morning, you heard that. And it lingered on for quite a while. And so I didn't get to address this at the top, but I wanted to make sure I said something because I talked about this a little bit yesterday and it really kind of sickens me. Uh, but hopefully it all works out. These kid killers in uh, Arkansas. Mitchell Johnson, 13 years old, and 11-year-old cousin Andrew have been charged with five counts of murder and 10 counts of first-degree battery in Arkansas Juvenile Court. They can only be charged in juvenile court and are held there until they turn 18. Uh, they were wanting, Prosecutors were looking into whether they could charge the 13-year-old with a federal firearm charge, but acknowledged that the 11-year-old would be off limits. Five people were killed. 11 were wounded in the boys' attack on a school Tuesday. Six remain in the hospital. One is in critical condition. And... That is maybe one of the saddest things I've ever heard. These kids had machine guns, and they just started 
shooting people uh, because one kid pulled a fire alarm and then the kids were dead meat as they came outside. School was canceled today. I was watching the Today Show yesterday morning. The kids were scared to go into the school. And, you know, I would be too. If I was a middle school kid, I would be scared as heck. Teachers were shot. I mean, that profession is just so underrated. Teachers are not paid enough money. They need to be paid more money. I'll tell you that right now. That uh, Those are the people that shape all of us. And uh, it's just it's just a travesty when anything like that happens. But kids... For middle school kids to get shot down by 11 and 13 year olds, that's got to go back to those people's parents. How did they get the guns? I don't know. But, uh, you know, I hope. I hope that that kind of stuff doesn't continue because that is very, very, very sad. Action 10's Rob Watson calling for partly cloudy skies today. Actually, we'll make that partly sunny. It could be either a high of 73. Tonight, uh, yeah, pretty warm. Low down to 51 for Friday. Partly cloudy and a high of 75. Hot 104.3. 59 at the hot one with a, a gal that can pretty much name her price on anything she wants to do next. Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On on the Titanic. CD on her own CD, too. Four point three. Matt Luking at 330, 430. Good morning. Thursday and uh, the weekend is near and March is almost done and it's going to be just darn warm today. A high of 73. These guys, their concert postponed, but they'll be back soon. Blessed union of soul. Won't you let... High one four point three. Thomas Dolby. Oh, my only hit. She blinded me with science. 339, 439, the overnight show, 59 outside, and rumor has it that